seven years ago, we did an interview on IST Austria. The expectations were high. Have your expectations been met seven years after? Uh, this has exceeded my expectation. Uh, East, the Institute of Science and Technology Austria, is off to a brilliant start. It um, reminds me a little bit of um, Rockefeller University, of the Janelia Farms at the Howard Hughes. It is built on the idea that to do interesting science, it's helpful to bring together scientists in different disciplines, each with their own interests, but with overlapping work um, activities. And this has worked brilliantly here, ranging from uh, computer technology to evolutionary biology to brain science uh, to structures of um, receptors, uh, really a, a marvelous combinations of sciences and recruiting some outstanding people and uh, bringing a new level of science to Austria and ultimately to Europe and to the world. This is the beginning of a really great institution. So what is your benchmark for the next seven years? Uh, several. One is there are not enough women recruited as yet and we hope that we will have 50% representation of women uh, 10 years from now. This is not the easiest task because gifted women are being recruited in a very competitive fashion but you know this is a beautiful place to live in addition to a beautiful place to work. And also, which is true at the best institutions, it not only has very good laboratory space, but has good living conditions for the scientists. It's a beautiful place to live, to raise children. Um, so I think the future is extraordinary. Uh, and in terms of science, which fields would you like to see? Um, I think what I'd like to see is some more developments in uh, structural biology. Uh, people are now doing wonderful work with uh, cryo-EM so they can understand the structure of ion channels of synapses. Uh, so I think this will, they've just recruited somebody very strong in that area. I'd like to see more work on brain imaging. Uh, both animal and images, mice images and human imaging, to bring the insight that we have in the basic biology of the brain to bear on human cognition. Maybe someone here will start studying higher cognitive functions like attention, consciousness, and begin to open up these deep, deep, difficult problems for investigation. After all, the study of consciousness began in Vienna with Freud. Why should not be continued at Easter? <laughs>